cost of course, we can talk about cost in two different setting. We have already learned about short run and long run. Okay. What do we mean by short run? At least, one At least one input cannot be varied, cannot be changed. And what do we mean by long run? All the inputs can be varied. So, let us talk about long run first. Okay. And we take the same production function that Q can be produced using capital and labor. We are talking about cost. Why are we talking about cost? What is the aim? That would determine on which cost we could supply. Achha, fine. But let us think about a firm. What does the firm do? Of course, it produces certain output, but why does it do it? The first thing that you can say that it wants to wants to not just generate maximize profit or it wants to get maximum profit from the venture. Fine. And for that it needs to decide two things. One how much to produce, how many units, you, if you want to say how many units of output to produce and second, how to produce. In other words, what combination, because we know that same label of output can be produced by using different combinations of inputs. So, which particular combination of inputs, input, inputs it should select to produce the amount of output decided in the first question, fine. Okay. So, here of course, rather than talking about maximizing profit and rather than talking about how many units to produce we are going in the backward direction and there is a reason to it, it will become clear to you later. That first we are talking about that which particular combination of inputs it should select to produce a party the pre decided amount of output. So, what we are saying is basically how would the company decide? Let us say this is the ISO quant, here we have labor, here we have capital which particular combination it should check, it should take. Which costs minimum? Which costs minimum, because the idea is to produce Q naught amount of output, but with different combination of inputs Q naught can be produced, but different combination would cost different. So, idea is to select a combination of inputs which is least costly. So, what we are basically talking about it is, let us say if we have only two factors of production that is k and l, this is our production function q is equal to f of k comma l. Okay, fine. What will be the cost of production? Let us say we do not have any other factors, of course, we are assuming it is far from reality, but this is an assumption that we are making that we are using only capital and labor to produce. So, how much will it cost? Cost, cost of capital and wages to labor. So, let us say cost to capital is per unit, per unit capital for per unit time. Remember one thing, because if we change the duration, okay, the cost will change. So, always remember that cost is here a flow variable cost is a flow variable, but we are talking about and we will not mention it again and again that the cost of capital when I say R, what we are saying that R probably I n R R per unit of capital per unit of time that we will not mention again and again, but 
we will just say that R is the cost to cap one unit of capital. So, how much would be the cost of capital? R k R multiplied by k and let us say L w is the wage paid to the worker. Again w we need to specify that w is per unit of worker, per unit of time probably per day, per month depending on the how we are, we have defined the problem. So, the cost is going to be w L and thus the total cost is going to be R k plus w L. Now, my question is what if a person owns some amount of capital, he does not need because one way to look at it R is the rental price of capital, why you are paying to the workers, because you are hiring workers from the market. So, in lieu of their work you need to pay them, but what about the possibility that capital you already own capital you already own, so, then do we need to put here R k or we need to ignore R k? They were rented. They were? Rented. No, I am saying if, if they are rented, then you need to put it definitely R k, but what if they are not rented? Uh, it is the opportunity it's cost of the capital. It is the upper, what you could do that you can let us say, you can use your machinery, capital represents some sort of machinery, you can rent out those machineries in the market and you would earn some money, the rent, rent for that capital, you are using it for your own purpose. So, remember in economics we always talk about the opportunity cost and what is the second best you can do? Of course, you can say I will otherwise I would keep idle, okay. if that is your, if you are not going to put it in the market then it is fine, you can put it at 0, because that is the second best alternative available to you. But the businesses, they are very concerned about cost and you know how they produce. So, they frequently rent out capitals and rent take you know higher capitals from outside. So, it is very important that they consider this cost okay? and this is the second best they can do, if they do not use it in for their own production they will rent it out and then they would earn R per capital per unit of time. So, that is why it is important for us to mention it here. Okay. So, the what we have now the cost is R k plus W L.